Hey, hello everybody. Today I'm gonna show you how to start day trading in three easy steps. There's a bunch of other steps in the middle there, but um, but the three easy steps are gonna get you trading on a simulator um, so that you can really start your journey in day trading. And some of you already know, and uh, this will just be another way. So this is the day trading for success. Uh, where the Million Dollar Margin Club trades, and where we have all educational videos basically for free. Um, and we have a lot of custom scripts and everything else, and I'll go into that in a minute um, when I talk about our videos. But just to get right into it, first let me bring over this disclaimer. So we are not um, professional trading advisor, financial advisors, so um, these are just for entertainment purposes only, and hopefully it'll shorten down on your learning curve. Um, but, uh, you know, you're not meant to just follow us or anybody else blindly without, you know, you need to learn this yourself. Um, just unfortunately, that's the hard nose facts of it all. You're going to have to learn this yourself. OK, so I'm going to get rid of that. So now I'm going to talk about TD Ameritrade because um, that's the think or swim, which we have uh, we have here for the day trading for success is what we recommend. Now, I know a lot of people can't get this, people that are overseas and um, you would just have to apply what we're showing you here, obviously, to your uh, bank and platform that you can get. But for those of you that can get Thinkorswim, this is the thing you have to do. So I'll just start with step one. Step one, right up here, is open up your TD Ameritrade account. So when you open TD Ameritrade, you're going to ask you all kinds of information. If you haven't logged in, yet, you know, if you're not a user yet and uh, you hit new account, um, and then these are just pictures on a, on a little uh, slideshow here. So, but that's what it's going to look like. And then once you get it, you signed up, you need $500. Yeah, let me go back. So for $500, you can open an account to use their simulator. And that's the key thing because you want to train on a simulator. And it's a lot of fun, really, when it's not real money. But at some point, you need to take it real serious. Um, you know, I, I know I've lost millions of dollars on, on simulators, so, uh, but you just, the idea with a simulator, obviously, is that you're training yourself for real trading. That's that's the idea. So anyway, once you have that, and then it's gonna, you're going to look scroll down and look for that, and you're going to want to join in on Thinkorswim and log in. And then when you get that, you're going to get this sign right here that you're going to put in your ID and password and everything, and you're going to want to switch it to paper money. So remember to switch it to paper money. So that's the that's step one of the three easy steps. Get on the simulator, right? And then step two is to watch these videos right here, okay? So these videos right here, and I'm gonna go over them a little bit, and I'm gonna show you my computer as well. So you need a pretty good computer. So let's talk about that first. Now, this video is gonna show you exactly the recommendations. You actually can get away with a pretty small computer, but obviously the faster you can get, the better. So I'll go back here uh, and show you on this next slide my computer specifications that I have. Now, I'm, I'm running eight screens here. I'm a professional day trader. You do not need to get what I'm about to show you, but it's one of the questions that are asked a lot, what do I have? So I'm gonna answer that question right now. This is custom built by Orbital. Uh, and these are the specifications that I told them that I wanted. And this is mine. It's an i9. Um, it's fast. And I execute my trades very quickly, uh, I believe, probably ahead of a lot of other people due to the speed of my computer. So people will debate that that has nothing to do with it. But from, my, uh, from using slower computers, I would disagree with them. So this is what I have, and it's expensive. I think it was like 4000 But again, you do not have to have this. You can trade right off of a cheap laptop. But I just wanted to answer one of the questions of what I have. And then monitors. I have a curved screen for the main monitor, which I'm talking on right now. And then, uh, and this, this is pretty cheap, but th this is a good brand, good enough brand. You know, I like it. So this is where I got it. And I think maybe the price has changed a little bit. Uh, and then um, these are the others that I have basic ones and I you know I take off the stand and I put them on a big array here a big mount and then off to the side I have another whole setup that I use for a, a different platform street smart edge uh, and I do my swing and, and um, trend trading over there and then these these six that are right in front of me I do for scalping so that's the computers that that I use but watch that video down here, uh, let me just get this off the screen. So I'm gonna show you the platform here, but 
you need to watch um, watch the video here and it's going to show you all the specifications to think or swim need and it's not a real lot and then there's little tricks and things to speed it up um, so you're just going to definitely want to get into that the next thing i would say that on these on this channel this is why there's actually more than three steps but it's fun to watch videos right so you're going to you can watch these videos and it, you can get the layout like you're seeing here in a bunch of other layouts completely for free. So you don't have to figure out how to do all this. You can download them with the URL completely for free by watching those videos. So that's the cool thing uh, about this video that, and the, these other videos. Everything is free. You can see we're on a simulated trading right here. Um, one of the things that the simulated trading doesn't do, any of the custom scripts that Day Trading for Success offers all these custom scripts, they will not go into a simulator. So you you won't be able to use those to train. So I it's better that you don't use them to train because then they'll be uh, a great advantage to you when you do get to train. But that that brings up the subject that we do have a lot of um, custom scripts uh, that that really really help you trade, and there's all kinds of videos about that. So you're going to want to uh, make sure you watch those as well, uh, and how to get all those scripts for free as you start to trade and they and they make it so much easier to trade um, with the customer and we and we did all those scripts ourselves and then the next thing is i'm gonna i brought this in here uh and um i was watching other channels that showed criterium to start and a bunch of them mentioned it and i was so happy to see that they mentioned logbook because <laughs> you really need to log when you're starting more than anything log all of your trades keep track of how you're doing take this i know i said have a lot of fun with the sim maybe for three or four days lose millions of dollars or make millions on the on the sim but then you need to knuckle down with a trading plan and you need to take it seriously like this is what i can actually risk and then learn that way because if you don't learn that way there's really no point then it's just like you're playing a video game there's something to be said for video games but if you want to do this for a career uh, and, and that's one of the hardest things to get over is that you start to it starts to go wrong and you just say hell with it, it's just a sim and then you and then then you start revenge revenge trading and you know emotional trading and it just gets worse and worse and worse if you don't take the sim tr seriously at some point you just have to say this is it today's the day i'm going to act like this is real money i'm going to keep track of it my logbook i'm going to make sure you know that i am green you know or i just go back i just keep keep at it till i'm green if you keep messing around on the sim it, it just becomes worthless, but just a toy. So that's just something to keep in mind. Many, many traders slash students, whatever that I've had, have, uh, cannot get by that one thing. So that's why Logbook is so, is so helpful. So we have that, and there's a link to the Logbook on this video. We made our own, and it also has a bunch of other cool stuff, um, including um, how, to, how to rate stocks and things like that. So for $8.99, that's definitely worth a purchase. That's pro probably the only thing I'm going to hawk on this channel. But I did, that's, you really need that. Okay, guys. So, so then uh, there's, one, uh, there's a lot of in our little archives of live trading uh, and specifically on our RV strategy. So you're going to want to look at those. Now, when you first start, it's probably a little a little advanced to go right into some specific kind of strategy. I will be doing some live trading on the SIM today. I guess that's considered live trading, right? Yeah. And um, I'll show you a, the technique um, that I use uh, on uh, for how I started trading and um, uh, as far as day trading. And uh, so we'll see some of that today. But these are about the videos. And I just want to make sure that you watch. There's a lot of fun. They're all competitions with the Million Dollar Margin Club and, and a bunch of professional scalpers. So you can really see high-speed trading scalping, which is what, what really excited me about day trading is the scalping, high-speed scalping aspect of it. But there's lots of ways to day trade. And we're just we're a brand-new channel, so there's going to be a lot more videos. Uh, but I felt the need that I had to make this one now due to a lot of questions and stuff about risk reward, which we're going to talk about as well in here. So um, what you really want to do if you're not in a competition is you want to wait for the perfect setup, which, you know, I don't know how much time we'll have today. I don't want to wait 30 minutes on a video for a perfect setup, but that's what you should wait for when you're you're trading. And then when you get into real high speed trading, you know, uh, you, you you sometimes can't do that. I mean, they they my nickname is Fasoon. That's F S O O N, 
And when that, that means that what that means is find something out of nothing. So that's what they, that's what my, I, I wear that with pride, but yeah, I, I, uh, I will try to find a trade when you really should be waiting. So it's not, it's not advisable, but as you get, you know, as you get to be uh, in it for many years and professional, you know, but don't, I know everybody's going to try that now, I, you know, cause that's what you do. I can do it. You know, everybody thinks they, they're the ones that can do it. So you will learn, but I recommend the SIM. And then there's also one on how to how to set up the scanners. So scanners are so important. So there's a video that shows just how to do that. And you can actually upload those exact scanners on the URL. So if you don't want to take the time to build it, they're right there. Thinkorswim offers them. And then that's going to help you find the stocks that you want to trade each day. So that's really important, too. And there's another video about how to determine the overall market. So if you just want to take one trade for the whole day, Knowing which way the market's going, you might just want to buy or sell it at the beginning of the day. And I would definitely um, set an alert uh, for your stop loss. Um, but, you know, that's one way to trade. But knowing the way that the market moves, when you're in a position, um, you might tend to hold it longer knowing you believe it's going to go the right way for you if it's, if it's starting to go the wrong because you know which way the market's going to move. Now, remember, there's no sure thing, and you really do need to have a stop loss, mental stop loss or an alert to, that, that this is the point of no return. I can't lose more than $50 or $100 or whatever it might be. I need to get out. Um, but I'm giving you a little bit of lessons in here, but these videos are going to cover a lot of it. And then there's a lot of other videos about charts and indicators. What we don't really have a video on yet is to how to read candlestick patterns. So I will be doing that. But I mean, you know, you guys, you know how to use YouTube. I mean, they're out there. They're everywhere. So, uh, but we will make our own for that as well. These are some of the frequently asked questions that are from the, from our people that are already here subscribing and we do appreciate them. Yes, everything on, we use, this is the Thinkorswim platform. That's what you see on the videos. That's what we use. Um, we are not making videos about options, futures, and Forex and then ask, can this the RV strategy or other strategy might, use i've been told yes they can work on uh, um, that type of trading if that's what you're doing so you just have to figure out how to adapt them to what you're doing and no right now the million dollar margin club is not accepting new members and that is the most commonly asked question in emails that i get and uh, we topped out at 50 and we're stopping where it got a little overwhelmed did not expect what happened so those are the videos step two watch these videos okay so we got to step two um and then step three is um i talked about the computers but yeah so the step step three is a big one is your risk management okay so this is what you need to do and the logbook's going to have this um but you don't need to buy the logbook i mean it would be helpful but you need to set you know figure out which hours you can trade how many shares you want to trade what is the max i these are repetitive only because you might you know some people might want to start at 100 and go up to 200 or whatever so i just for the sake of simplicity i just made the entry 200 because we're going to use this chart over here in a second and then you have a goal per trade with your 200 shares like i'm trying to make 40 dollars or 20 cents above the position i entered so forty dollars or twenty cents above oh and i only am going to lose half of that a two to one ratio I want to make sure I don't lose more than 20 or 10% below. Now, if you start off with that two to one ratio right off the bat, then you can have uh, more losing trades than winning trades and still make money. And you're, and you're definitely, um, you know, reining yourself in and being very, very careful. Now, I will tell you, this is the hardest thing to learn is to actually abide by, by your rules. <laughs> this is the hardest thing to actually make rules and then stick to the rules. Uh, and it's even harder in a sim because you, you, you can't get in your head that it doesn't matter. So, But this is what a successful trader is right here. Rules and then controlling your, your losses, you know, your risk management. It's all about all the big firms. It's all about how to manage their risk, not about how to manage their profit. They're not worried about that, about how to manage their profit. They're worried about how to manage their risk. So you have to go in with a mindset of, protection and managing your losses in a big way if you can do that and i'm sure you guys have heard it you know if you can do that it's so much easier said than done but you will eventually become profitable and it is a it is going to take a while to learn these let you can it's easy to say them right you just it's just hard to feel them and become them you know to really do that so then also set a daily goal 
So right here, it's $100. So I'm very happy with $100 a day. I remember when I started day trading, I was very happy with $100 a day. Now I want to make between 1000 and 5000 a day. So that's what happens as you get better and you set your sights higher. And do I achieve that goal every day? I do not. I do not achieve the goal. And I get asked all the time. They think by watching the videos that I'm green all the time. I'm not green all the time. I, I lose many trades. It just so happens in those competitions, I was. <laughs> so it wasn't because I'm only showing you those. <laughs> it was just that those, it, it, I think there's something about competing too that um, makes me a better trader, you know. But but I would say that every month I have two two to three red days, you know, and I, and I try to not make them uh, equal more than all my green days combined, because I still have a problem as a professional trader with this max loss per trade. I still believe I can will the market that it's going to, that it can't, I cannot believe it's not doing what I predicted it to do. What is it thinking for God's sake? So yeah, everybody has this problem forever. So it's just about how you, the best you can control it, cutting that off being hardcore. That's it. Okay. And then walking away. I'm done for the day. I, 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 you know, walk away when you, when you hit your max loss, it's over. You can't, you can't say, you know, I've tried every trick. Well, you know what? I'm just going to call this another day. I'm going to make four days in one because it's the same thing as like another day, really. It's just in my head, right? I'm going to make this another day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We all do those tricks, right? So learning to walk away, and when you get to your losses and then you know you're going to you know eventually your accuracy as you get better you're going to have you already have a better chance by making double the amount when you have a good day at least that's the goal you can stop at $80 you know if you're not feeling it you know you can stop at $60 green $20 green just get green get green now when and then I put down here five trades now uh I will uh trade many more times than that these days when I first started, it was actually the opposite. I traded more times than I trade now. I traded now. I was I was insane, and I used hotkeys and I traded for so fast. And I think I over three hundred in in a matter of an hour and a half or something, which just seems inconceivable, right? But it's possible. <laughs> Believe me, just hitting those keys really fast and just three cents, five cents, eight cents, fifteen cents, you know, ch -ch 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 -ch, and just buy sell short, long, short, long, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and it can happen. And then I got, you know, I overtraded and a log book helped me with that is to stop, log, think, what's your thought process, you know, go through. These are all the trials and tribulations that everybody has. So if you're somewhere in your journey right now, you are not alone. And even when you get better, it comes back again. It revisits you and it's like you forgot everything. And that happens over and over and over again. So it's a constant battle you're having with yourself not the market, to actually be successful. It's a constant battle. So, you know, don't give up. You know, we all blow up accounts. You know, just try to keep, try to not lose the house, you know, just to make sure you can get by food. But, you know, eventually, if, if you're feeling the passion, it, it's going to click. It's going to click. And then it's just about control, you know, just controlling so you don't, those bad days um, don't eat up all that good stuff you did. And, and just a little bit more about that is that, um, you know, I know that that when I have, I've had like four or five bad days in a row, even up to a year ago, I was having that many bad days in a row. And I really felt that it was over, that I had been fooling myself, that I don't know what I'm doing. You know, what am, what am I doing here? There's nobody can predict the stock market. Nobody can. And there's, there's some videos about that too. And we can't. You know, keep in mind, guys, when you um, well, let me finish this train of thought. So so I really was I would I beat myself up so bad that it was just like I felt I was useless and could not trade. And I think we all go through this. It depends on your personality, of course. Um, and I had a high risk uh, earlier, you know, uh, lifestyle. So I take big chances. But it was more about I put myself at a higher standard that I do not accept failure, you know, so I would not accept it. I cannot be that person that does that, right? So that's a that's impossible. You're going to fail. And, you know, so I have to, you have to learn to forgive yourself, right? And then get back on the horse um, because everybody, no matter what videos you see online, everybody being successful and happy and they made a million dollars and all, all that, if, if they're, if it's real, they've gone through hell and probably still will again. And then it might not even be real. So, you know, I don't know. But 
uh, any any uh, professional trader is going to tell you about the the up and down climbs of, of professional trading. Important to um, when you start, you know, make rules just to start that aren't on here. On here, like how much sleep I have to get six hours sleep, or I won't trade. And I, for the most part, I, I did that in a competition recently. I think I told you guys that I hadn't got six hours, and it worked out okay. But I had to show up for that. But if it was just me trading. I wouldn't have without six hours sleep uh, or if I'm something really stressful in my life is going on like all of us have, you know, don't don't get on, don't try to work it out by trading stocks because that's not going to go well, you know. So, you know, a consistent feeling, you know, your, your schedule of working out or meditation or, you know, hiking, whatever you might do, consist as much as you can. Good diet. You know, I'm guilty of not doing all of that stuff on a regular basis, but I try. And, um, you know, that 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 can really help a lot too. All right, so let's get over to this right here. So now this is representing the five trades, right? And this is representing your percentage of wins, right? And now this is the two to one ratio. So I created this little chart um, to show you guys. So if you had zero winning trades by following these rules, you would be minus $100. If you were right one time, you'd be minus $40, right one time and wrong four times. That's what it's saying, right? Then if you were right, uh, wrong two times and right three times, right, then now you're even. Is that right? No, you're wrong three times. Yeah, okay. So you're wrong. You're only, you've only been right, I'm sorry, twice and wrong three times. I reversed it on you there. Now, really, to get to your goal, hopefully you can follow this along, um, when you get to your goal here, this is probably about 68% or something to make that $100. It doesn't, but if you're if you're trading at 60% accuracy and following these rules, you are green. You are very green. Even at 40%, you could be green. So that means that, you know, if you think about it, the only 40% accuracy, I run it at about 85% these days. You know, but I was down here 50% for a long time when I first started doing this type of scalping, you know, and I just would try to will it up until I got better and better and learned. But so this is a journey to get from here to here. This is this is a journey. Keeping control is so important, you know. Now, this is just what I use. I mean, you might want to make that 30 cents. Now, right here, this is really signifying the 20 cents and the 10 cents. So the two to one, that's 20 cents and 10 cents according to this here. So you could look at it like, well, maybe I need to make 30 cents and only lose because then I have a better chance of not losing money. So now you're going to be you're going to make money. You're going to this scale is going to go down so you can you'll do better. See how it's, you're profitable quicker here. Right. And or maybe I want to make 50 cents. You know, So that's how this is working. And you will find out. It's really hard when you're trading uh, momentum scalping to even move 20 cents sometimes. I mean, you're you're like, you just, you know, I'll get out at 12, 18, and then sometimes 25, you know, and sometimes a dollar. I'll just hold the position. But I mean, if you're in and out quickly, it might be hard to make that goal. That is the goal. That is the goal. I'm not saying don't go for the goal. I'm just saying you're going to say, like, God, it only moved 12 cents, and then it went down. And then I hit my low mark. I could have got out at 12 cents. I could have got out. Um, and that's the thing we all struggle with all the time. Like it didn't make the uh, position and it went and then we waited for the whole low. And then we uh, and then sometimes, well, this is the biggest problem. We hold below. I know it's going to turn around. It's 15. Oh, it's 20. No, I know it's going to turn around. It's down 30 cents, but I know it's going to turn around or we add to the position. You know, It's just these are the things that I definitely do. And I know so many of the people that I trade with all the same problems all the same because you know what happens a lot of times it works so it's a terrible reward message right that you, that your bad trading works because that's bad trading you know you need to get out um but you know when you watch me live trade i do not follow these so that's 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 that you could call me a bad trader or a lucky trader maybe um, but often I do not I do not follow these. So I'm terrible. I'm so I'm hypocritical here. But this is how I turn the corner by following these rules. This is how it started where I could turn the corner and then take bigger chances. And and I'm crazy sometimes, clearly. But um, but you need to make some sort of a profit loss ratio that makes sense 
um, because one to one is going to be hard to make money on. So you want to try to give yourself an edge here by making more than you lose. If you just put 10 cents here and 10 cents here, then it's all just about how many were winning and how many were losing. Now you could lose, you could win less and still make money if you get what I'm saying. So that's basically it. I don't want to beat it up. I mean, obviously you can look at this over and over again, but that's basically risk management. It's the most important thing about trading is right here. So um, I guess what I'll do now is I think I've covered the three. So those are the three steps. I don't know how long the video is already, but now I'm going to go ahead and trade. So now this is what a sim. I'll go ahead and open this up. Now, this is my uh, perfect one minute setup on the sim uh, for scalping. Um, and unfortunately, it can't do any of the custom scripts which is annoying. I did a couple of trades earlier today because I was just testing the sim. But let me go over um, what this what this is on this layout that you can get, right? So this is a one-minute chart, and inside the beaker here, and don't try to learn this all now. I mean, you could, I have videos about this. It has the moving averages that are on this chart, right? And this is how you can add other studies and things. So I won't, this is going to be a tutorial about charts, but I have those in the videos that I was telling you about. So these are the moving averages, the 20, I mean, the 9, the 20, and this is the 50, the uh, 100, and the 200. And this is the VWAP, the really the most important indicator. We are looking at NVIDIA today, which had a 14 ATR um, yesterday, which means it moved, for, it was capable of moving $14 up or down. Um, I, that's why I picked this stock so we could have something that these, well, let me go on. This, this is, this is the, um, volume down here. So this is one of the most important things to watch when you're trading. Again, my videos are going to cover this in detail. I'm not going to go into a lot of uh, strategy today, or it would be like an hour and a half, two hour video. Um, but you're going to want to watch those videos, so you know, and you're going to want to download, maybe start with a free layout to download down here. If you blow this up. This is like my daily. So I'll do a lot of analysis with this RSI, ATR. Again, you can find out what all this stuff means. Um, so I, and you can, it, this is managing screen space, right? And then over here on the bottom of this one, I have a four hour. Um, and all these charts for, for, for writing support and uh, for marking support and resistance lines are very important. This is a one hour. Oh, wait, that's a four hour. Okay. Uh, was that a four hour too? Do I have two four hours and not a? No, that's supposed to be a one hour. So we'll just change that right now. Let's see, time frame. Uh, one hour. Okay. These are messed up. And this is supposed to be a 15 minute. Okay, that's 15 minute. Okay. So this one I, I keep open so I can kind of see a bigger direction of the way the stock's going. This is a five minute chart over here. Again, this is showing me the moves. Now, when you're trading, you're trying to get perfect alignment between the five minute and the one minute, and you're looking at the overall and you're drawing support and resistance lines. I don't want to overwhelm you. It's a process. You have to go through a journey. So you don't you can jump in the sim and have all kinds of fun, but you're gonna to wanna to learn these how to analyze. Now, a couple of things I want to point out is um, the banks, you know put out contracts to get platforms like this. And then they say in the contracts, I want you to push these things. And the banks are hoping that you blow up your account. I know that's harsh. They just want you to keep replenishing, replenishing, replenishing. As it turns out now, uh, years ago, Thinkorswim was actually bought by TD Ameritrade. And I'm not trying to be a big whistleblower negative thing. But I, I, I want you to keep in mind that there are no indicators that are really going to make you a successful trader. That is, that is the reality of it, right? Now, they can help to give you an edge, but you never want to take them seriously. You never want to believe if this crosses that, that I'm always going to win if these indicators. You, never, you know, you don't want to, I mean, this is just my opinion, of course. You know, all the gurus have it. They all sell online, all their special deals. Once you buy their course, you're going to be an instant success. The only way you're going to be successful is yourself through training. And you can't just take a, you can't just, it's the mentality me included, we all have, I used to be a teacher, um, that if we take a course, we're going to know how to do it. <laughs> you know, it's not, when you go to college, you can take a whole bunch of courses. You can't come out a professional whatever, you know. So there's a lot of work after the course, right? So it's, it's sort of a, you know, I wish it was that easy. We all want it to be that easy, 
You know, I, you know, when it, when the second green candle moves up, you know, that's when to go in. So I know I can make money every single time. No, 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 no. So sometimes these things work and sometimes they don't. And over time, you get a feeling for how you're, how it's working for you, because it, you know, each one of these indicators, believe it or not, individually, we all read them differently, right? We all look at them differently. And, you know, the, the, the cold hard truth is it's probably 50-50, honestly. I'm sure I'm going to get nasty emails. But, you know, it, it's, it, trading is a skill you have to develop and you kind of get a feel. It's like if you, I, the best way I could say it is like, you know, those pictures in a picture where you look at it and you don't see the other picture that's inside there, but then you kind of move your eyes funny and suddenly you can see that picture. That's kind of like what trading's like, right? It takes you a while to kind of see like, oh, oh, I see it now. You know, I see the way these move and all. But when somebody tries to explain it and tells you that they got it, man, you know what? Watch lots and lots of videos from everybody. You know, just watch and then learn and take your time and uh, and then start to get a feel. But there's no, you know, there's no surefire one thing. And I wish it would be. It would be so easy, right? Then everybody would trade and everybody would just be successful. And I'm sure you've heard 90, between 90 and 99%, depending on who you talk to, fail in day trading. So there's that logic of just putting your money in, letting the, the, the managers manage your money, and you're going to get this much of percentage. And if you and, and it's true. It, for the most part, that will work, you know. Uh, and it's people who really know what they're doing, that are watching the long term and all that. Maybe you don't have a lot of time. Like if I started that right now and I didn't have a lot of money and I was working toward retirement, that would not be a strategy that would work for me. I need a quick buck instantly, right? That's what we mostly want as a society. We want instant rewards, right? So um, now I'm not saying that that's not possible in the market, but I wanted to put out that warning. It's it's hard. You can't just watch my stuff or anybody else's or take a course or two courses or five courses and think that you're a good trader. It, it's just it's trial and error working and it takes time and seeing that picture in the picture and get a feeling for how you trade, how it works for you, because how it works for you is different than everybody else. And I just made it all seem a lot harder, probably. But you can get there. You know, you, you definitely can get there. Speaking it from somebody that was a failure in trading, as I was, that you can get there. It does, it does turn around if you stick with it, you know, sticking with it. Any, I believe anybody can do anything they want to do if they stick with it. Anybody. You know, anybody can do anybody else's job. They just have to stick with it and learn. That's truly the way I believe. It's a, so anyway. Uh, I lost track. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, so this is the rest of the setup. So on the five minute, um, let me just maximize this cell. So this this is the beaker inside here shows what's on the five minute. And I do have the ADX, which shows the different trends in the RSI, which will show also show momentum and trend. So again, there are videos about these, how to use, how, to, how I'm moving this chart around. I mean, videos for all this stuff. Um, so the three steps are kind of a little misleading because there's a whole bunch of videos on those steps. But, um, you know, you could start trading right away with the stuff that I showed you. But let's go ahead and see how I do. And I'm a little worried. Um, so up here is what when you go ahead and um, get, you know, when you join the sim, you have your, your, your cat. Well, mine's higher. Okay. I think it starts at like 100 something. So this is because I've done other trades. Um, but you have a bunch of money to, to start to trade with, right? So you have to th do the math and figure the share size. So I'm going to go by our trading plan that we just showed you, which is 200 shares, and I'm going to start trading today. So if I started trading on this SIM, so this is, um, this is the market that's happening today. It's just like three or five seconds behind. Oh, yeah, so it's an important thing. When you get your SIM, uh, go to the setup wheel up here, and go to the application settings. And then from here, go to system and make sure you're on real time, no delay. Again, there are videos that show that, but I just wanted to show you, if you're not gonna watch all the videos, you're just gonna get started um, because it's all different things you can have here. But there's no reason why you wanna be delayed. It's not, it's not your real money. So you wanna learn as fast as you can. So um, I wanted to make sure I, I showed that. 
So now what am I looking? I'm going to give you a little bit of analysis here. So this is the level two. I didn't talk about it. So this is the book or the level two. And these are the prices of this stock. So NVIDIA is very expensive. So it would be difficult for you. But on the SIM, you're going to be able to buy 200 shares. Okay. Um, but it would be difficult for you, obviously, if you're opening an account. But I'm going to use this as just to show you how to trade on the SIM. Right. So, um, so we can buy 200 shares of this stock. So this is the bid. And this is the ask. This is the people that are are want to sell. They're asking you to pay this, and this is what they're willing to pay. And then there's a bridge between these two, and then there's a little bit of fees in between that bridge to connect you to the other people. These are the exchanges here. Um, all of them are the gateways. Um, and again, there's videos about that. And this is your share. The share sizes that are being sold. Now you have to multiply that by a hundred. They're not going to show you the full amount. And there's all kinds of other things, hidden sellers and things like that. I don't want to overwhelm you, um, but uh, in all kinds of different ways you can trade. And you should watch the dark pool video if you're interested in that. Um, but when you're first starting, you don't need to know all that stuff. You know, you don't need to. You can just start and just be careful. Um, so when I when I what I do now, even when I first when I still trade, is support and resistance and price and volume support and resistance price and volume so if i looked at this chart let me open up the five minute and then we'll do some trades so i just want to i, I want to have it try to to make winning trades for you guys because i'm not i'm not i didn't know what i was going to open up to here so i don't have a lot of analysis going here but this is where i can set my price level so um i would look at this and i would i would put a level right there this just tapped here three times so i put a level right there I would go ahead and put something down here when the market first opened, maybe there and even lower right there. So I'm kind of sh creating channels or lanes of where this is this, the buyers and sellers. That's what these candlesticks are representing right here. So I'm just trying to look to see when I get back in here, is there some sort of common ground that maybe it did it before that I can rely on? So that's what they would call, like as this drops down, is this a support that maybe will make that candle turn around? You know, uh, here it, ta it hit, hit twice and turned around. So maybe that's a spot it's going to respect later. It kind of did there, but then it blew through it. So nothing's for sure, but these are just kind of ways to do it. And I don't want to take a lot of time because I want to just get into trading a little bit for you just so you can see how it works. So this is on a five-minute chart. Now I would trade over here on my one-minute chart. So what does it look like here on the one-minute chart? So I bring it over here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can kind of stretch it out. Now I can kind of see if there's a pattern going on here. And put pretty much the pattern is it's going straight down. But it's starting to climb back up. Will it reclaim, you know, right now if you look at the five-minute, it's not really giving you confidence that it's going to go back up here. It's kind of some stair-stepping. Now all this is showing the volume. So the volume was all buyers. I really miss my indicators. The custom indicators are on my my, on this channel guys you should get those um that make this easier to trade um so every every little advantage every little edge you can get right so now if i'm i'm kind of this is the nine moving average it's bumping against um i mean this is pretty much telling me it's going to go up i'm a little skeptical but i'm going to go ahead and buy in here and unfortunately and i just called them about this this morning as i started to trade with this I don't remember when I traded with this, this delay. That should have picked up instantly. And because it didn't, I'm in a bad situation, you know. So, see, I lost the – I could have got out for a small profit had it picked it up when I did it. So that's that's what's aggravating me. I know some people were talking about that on the, on the channel. And uh, that's aggravating because, see, that tur turned a, a winning trade into a losing trade. So now I'm actually losing for the video. I'm embarrassed for all you people watching. But um, that's what scalping is, though. You're going to get in, and then you're going to try to get out for a profit. So I'm looking at the P&L, and uh, I don't know if I want to wait for $0.10. Cents. I'm at $0.81 cents or $0.20. Cents. I should technically wait for $0.20, cents, but look what happened. I could have got out for a profit, and I don't even know what's going on over here. Just try to – this is why it being real money – why it being not real money is it makes it okay right now, but otherwise I'd be very upset at the platform. But um, so it's green, and I'm losing confidence in it moving up. So I'm probably going to get out early. I'm going to try to get out, and it's not picking me up. 
So 18, 31, 22, 35. I still not picked up. Still not picked up. If this goes red before I'm picked up, it's going to be very annoying. There, it went green. So I made, um, I don't remember what I made. Sorry. But I made money. <laughs> so now when on a real platform, when you really trade, so if you can overcome this disadvantage, maybe on on-demand, they have an on-demand service too. It's probably better. I hope so. Um, but that's going to be past trading, not not live. I'm not, you know, now today. But if you can overcome this little, actually, when I was using it this morning, it was faster than that. That was like five seconds or seven seconds. A lot can happen in five or seven seconds. But what they told me when I called them up about this was that it's made so that you can understand the entire platform. It's not actually made to do fast trading on. I'm like, well, that stinks, guys. Come on. I hope they change that. I remember it being faster when I when I did that cuz clearly I made over a million dollars so you know by trading on a sim so and that and it was large share it was I'm sure it was reckless large share sizes cuz it was a sim you know uh but I did um knuckle down and and uh before I became you know a profitable trader I did what I was saying you need to do so I don't want to give a bad message here so let's keep watching this and see if I can do another trade so I look at the five minutes, kind of coming up against a resistance, possible resistance line here from earlier that I drew. So it might turn around right there. And if it does, I can go short, which meaning I'm hoping that the stock price will go down. They call that shorting. Um, and I could do that. And it does look like it's losing its way a bit, although there's a lot of buyers on the volume here. The volume is pretty strong. So often the even dollar amount is the support. Like so... $383 even is also support if it starts to go back down. And I don't know how much I can rely on this resistance line right here. We'll see. Um, it wasn't, you know, I, I, as you saw, I was kind of making these pretty quickly and they weren't ideal. Well, that's pretty good, actually. That was a double tap on pre-market that looked like it was a signified a real turnaround. So this one actually might be worth shorting right here. Let's see how much uh, it broke it, though. Now it's on the nine, I mean on the 20. Um, okay, I'm gonna, oh, uh, I tried to get it when it was up in the 50s. All right, what did I get it at? 50 even. So I sold that, that means I buy back, which I'm gonna do right there, and I got it, because it was over 20 cents. So there was a profitable trade on a short, because I saw it hitting that um, resistance line and turning around, because it stopped it over here. So that's kind of, that's, that's, um, trading for many years and and look what happens right so you have to be fast so now it's going the other way and i could have got killed well it's only now so now it's past my loss you know it went 10 cents beyond and beyond and beyond so it seems like it's really retracing its move here to go uh it might you know it might they call that retracing where it tries to go all the way back up again tries to go whatever <laughs> there are forces moving the stock obviously um so but anyway, what I didn't talk about in here and I was kind of looking at is in here this this yellow hue and then this red line. This is the volume profile that is on here right there. And I set that for a very short – oops, what did I just – because I, uh, I said apply, yeah. So I set, set that for a very short um, distance. So that's there, the high of, of that, the low of that, and that's the point of control, or I call it the magnet. And that's part of uh, one of the strategies that we have on the, or are about to have on the channel, which is called the bumper car strategy. This is sort of a track in between, and you're going to be going up and down within that. As you can see, it's kind of respected. I mean, it's being formed by what's happening, but then you can kind of see in, in the future um, what it might do again they're all just edges and often they're drawn right to this magnet or point of control see here or that's there because these were here it depends on how you want to look at it but that's basically telling you that it might do that again might do that again so you do that's how you kind of develop strategies by seeing uh, what has happened in the past and what worked for people and you know, kind of going along with the crowd like a lemming, like everybody's over here, so I'm going to go here. You can kind of count on that like a self-fulfilling because somebody else is doing it, but not always. So there's so much to, to, to take into account. But I was looking at this, too. It's just that it didn't, you know, like if it had dropped down here, 
you know, and it was working right along here through the v- when you're ab- the other thing is, and I'll just do one more little analysis, and I'm going to cut it I'll cut it off. Um, when you're above this VWAP, the volume weight uh, average, which is basically volume and price average there, right? when you're above that, you can count on the candlestick patterns that you should learn working better because that means there's higher volume. So, but when they're below that line, you can't count on them as much. It doesn't mean you can't count on them, but you just can't count on them as much. So another little thing that you need to learn along with the patterns. Remember, I used to have a below my computer screen on little index cards, all every, all the most commonly used patterns that I would come across in a day. So I could just, you know, look down, verify. And I remember uh, hiking with friends, having flashcards, and I would just see the, uh, we would just, you know, train each other. Like you'd look at a card and you'd have to identify exactly what that is, or you'd have to, they'd read it and you have to identify the pattern out of like seven patterns shown on a sheet real quick while I was out hiking around. So, so wherever I was, I was trying to learn, you know, what to do and how to make, make it better and better and better um, to scalp because scalping is a lot different than swing trading and trend trading, which I was doing prior to scalping or momentum trading. Okay, guys, I hope you understood the three rules. I hope that um, you follow them. I hope I you subscribe and uh, share, and I see you guys on the channel, in the chat. People are really um, helping each other on the chat because they don't really have the time to to answer them. I'd rather try to create stuff. But, um, but anyway, I really appreciate that, that the community is helping each other and um, – uh, that it's kind of a, a great little family and everybody's learning. Uh, so, guys, I really appreciate all your support and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Stay green out there.